Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer on this Thursday 27th of April 2023. My name is Reverend Jo Richards and lovely that you've joined us this evening. Perhaps an opportunity to give thanks for the day that has been or a pause in the business of the day. So as we gather together for worship, the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life. In Christ, Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. We say together our night prayer. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm 104. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Levithian, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world that the whole of creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading for tonight is from Revelation 22 verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. And now for our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for the Nunc Dimittis. Alleluia. The Lord is risen, Alleluia, as he promised to you, Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, 
a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Loving God, as we come together towards the end of this day, we give thanks for the day that has been, the people that we've met, the conversations we've had, particularly down at our toddler group this afternoon, giving thanks for those little ones that have been born in recent weeks, an opportunity just to to meet new new babies there with their parents and grandparents. We will remain mindful of those who perhaps have had a difficult day. For those who may have received bad news or having a tough time. We pray for those who are perhaps struggling with their physical health this evening. Or their mental health. Those recovering from surgery. Those who are perhaps struggling with frailty. And we lift to you, O oh Lord, those who have asked us tonight particularly for prayer. In a moment of quiet, we lift them to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who will be working this evening, those who will be covering the night shifts in our hospitals, care homes and in our local hospice. We pray for our key workers working in our supermarkets, for those that keep our streets clean and safe for all our emergency services this night. Our places of entertainment, the Marlowe Theatre and Gulbenkian, pubs, restaurants, nightclubs, that nighttime economy. So Lord, we lift to you all those who will be working this evening in whatever context and capacity that might be. As we remain mindful of those tonight who will be sleeping on our street, we pray and give thanks for the work of the outreach team, work of Catching Lives, Porchlight, Canterbury City Council, Forward Trust, the work that they do. We pray for those this night who may be mourning the loss of a loved one, for those who may be at a bedside as perhaps a loved one draws to the mortal end. We also pray for those who will be celebrating this night, birthdays or anniversaries, and for those who will be born. So whatever this night holds, O oh Lord, we ask for your blessing upon it and that you are with us all. Every day, every night, as yesterday, today and tomorrow. So Heavenly Father, accept our prayers. For the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for tonight. Visit this place, O oh Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thank you as ever for joining us this evening. It's lovely to worship together. And please do join us if you can tomorrow at nine for morning prayer and again night prayer at six. Wherever you are this night, have a safe night. Good night and God bless.
Bye for now. Bye.